Hello on the Caribbeans. This is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the first lesson on the living world of class 11th biology. It's about me. My name is Vignesh NP and these are extra details and you can follow me at unacademy by hitting the link below so what is living so we know that to learn biology definition of living is very very important here we define living through a set of characteristics so let us check each of them out all living organisms grow what do you mean by growth here we define growth as increase in mass. In plants, cell division occurs throughout their life, but in animals, growth is seen until only a certain age. Since non-living objects also grow, we don't say this as a defining property. Now, you will be thinking, which non-living objects grow? Like, you know, sand molds or mountains, these two grow, right? They increase in mass, but are they living? No. So we can't say that growth is a defining property. Next, we see living organisms reproduce. That is production of progeny possessing similar features. That is how you define reproduction. Reproduction can be through sexual means or through asexual means. But there are many organisms like the mule or infertile worker bees or even infertile human couples. But they are living right. So this too can't be said that is a defining property. So next we check out metabolism. So we know that all the organisms are made up of chemicals. These chemicals are constantly made and modified into another biochemical. So these reactions that is occurring in our body are called metabolic reactions. And the sum total of all the chemical reactions that's occurring in our body is called metabolisms. So we know that every organism show metabolism. So metabolism is a defining property. Now consciousness. Consciousness is defined as the ability to sense our environment and respond accordingly. Human beings are the only organism who is aware of himself and that is known as self-consciousness thus consciousness is a defining property now we move on to diversity in the living world so what is diversity biodiversity is the number and type of organisms present on earth so when we talk about diversity we know that various names are used in various places for organisms so for standardizing that naming nomenclature is used and most widely used nomenclature is the binomial nomenclature each name has two parts here that is the generic name and the specific epithet and it was introduced by carolus linnaeus example mangifera indica here mangifera is the generic name and indica is the species name now we move on to taxonomical categories. What is taxonomy? Taxonomy is the process of classification of different classification into different taxa or categories. Classification, as you know, is not a single step process. Species is the lowest category here, and then we move on to genus and so on. So we will learn about all these right now. First, species. Species are a group of organisms with fundamental similarities. Example in Homo sapiens, sapiens is the species. Now we see Panthera leo, which is a lion, and Panthera tigris, tiger, and Panthera pardus, which is leopard. Here we see that the species are leo, tigris, and pardus, respectively. Next we move on to genus. Genus is a group of related species like in the previous example panthera leo panthera tigris and panthera pardus leo tigris and pardus species belong to the family or the uh, belong to the genus panthera now it is family 
family is group of related genera like we talked about panthera which is a genus consisting of this leopard tiger and lion along with felis which are cats are included in the felidae family next is order order like family is a group of related family and felidae and cancidae that is felidae which is cat family and cancidae dog family belong to the order carnivora next is class class order primata and order carnivora primata in which the primates are there which includes us is in the class mammalia and next we see phylum or division phylum for animals and division is called division in plants classes like fishes amphibians reptiles are all included in the phylum chordata don't worry we will learn about this in detail later on so please get an idea of what i'm saying right now next is next or the highest category is kingdom that is an uh, example animalia and plantae that is animals and plants taxonomical aids what is taxonomical aid taxonomical aids are techniques procedures and stored information that are useful in identification and classification of organisms one of the ta important taxonomical aid is herbarium herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimens for future use next is botanical gardens plants of different types are grown here for scientific and educational purpose example there's a big botanical garden in howra and it's the indian botanical garden howra next is museum you know museums are institutions where collections are exhibited to the public zoological park animals here are kept in protected environment under human care one of the most important taxonomical aid and most frequently asked tax taxonomical aid is the key or taxonomical key taxonomical key is based on contrasting characters in a pair called couplet it represents choice made between two opposite actions op options and it leads to acceptance of one and rejection of the other that is you are given two options and you take one option and move on further and further that's how a key works homework so today's homework which is very important and very essential that you do to complete this chapter if you do this you will have a wholesome learning of the chapter write the whole taxonomic categories of man that is write the species genus family etc of man inquire about the various museums and gardens near you and visit if you can go and find examples of a key in encyclopedia.com i have given you the website in encyclopedia.com it is given clearly how a key works don't just rot memorize the definition please understand what key is okay so please rate review and recommend my courses on an academy so that we can carry on this education revolution thank you thank you all